Hello and welcome back to Tales on the Riverbank and thank you for joining us once more. Do not be fooled by the illusion of sun behind us. It is still utterly freezing. Tom, are you okay? Yeah. See, now he's reduced to simple monosyllabic grunts. He's that frozen, bless him. Anyway, stay with us because today we're going to be looking at a solution to a conundrum. And the conundrum is, what do you do if this lovely camera is placed in a place where you can't get to. I mean, I don't know, up a crane, on an inhospitable jib, or even potentially somewhere warm. How do you control it? What do you need? You need, handily, one of these, which is a WCU4 remote control device. This will allow me to control my focus, to control my aperture, but more importantly also, to have full camera control so that Hopefully while I'm somewhere warm, the camera can be working. First thing I see, of course, is the large focus control here on yes. the left. Yeah. So, and also we've got a Primark ring on here. Mm. So we get five Primark rings in the kit, and these just give you another added safety uh, that you're hitting your focus marks. So we'll line up, um, each ring has a 14, 12 inch, three yep. foot six, which is your close focus. Line that up with the lens, and then you know that all the marks are gonna be in the correct position. Fantastic. And over here we've got our T-stop slider and enables us to slide up and down whether you're opening her up or, or, or stopping it down. And again, what I see straight away is what I'm going to call the yellow box of safety. Yeah, what's good with this, as you preferred, yellow box of safety, this is just showing us the circle of confusion. Mm. Um, so basically as we stop down, that circle of confusion is going to increase. Yep. And as we open up, it's going to decrease. And it just means that if your actors are moving around, they might miss their mark you can double check that you're still going to be sharp. Absolutely. Let's just film everything at T8 from now on. <laughs> um, okay. And at the top, we've got camera and menu. And I'm just going to hit camera here so that we can see immediately the state of our camera. Yes. So because the lens that we're using at the moment has got LDS2 and we're running through the L bus, we've got all of our metadata coming so that we know we've got frame rate 25, but yep. we also know what lens we're on, what filters we're running, yeah. exposure index etc it's Absolutely. pretty, pretty it, self it, it's all there i can i can see my white balance my battery recording time codec um, shutter angle it's all there as, as you say straight away now if i go into say back to home yes. that takes me back to the master and then what where would i go for camera control if i want to say drop an nd in so if you wanted to drop an nd on you'd actually go back into that camera menu that you yep. were in absolutely and then on the right hand side you'll see a green setup yep and so I just you just that click that button yep. And then, and then using the knob on the left-hand side of the handset. That's this one here. I shall try and do that without obscuring it. Ah, yeah, look, I can literally flick down to whatever I need there. Exactly. And, do I, and then do you just select that? So yeah. you've got two options to select. So you've got on, select the, bottom on right, the bottom right, but you've also got a red trigger on the top left of the handle. Ah, up here. And that's yeah, a, as you. a button works, you hit that, it will drop you in. And just for argument's sake, I'm going to push that red trigger and it takes me straight in. And you can see I'm currently at 1.8 but I could equally now just select a different, a different selection, yep. push the red trigger, and it would take us back into there. Yeah. Yes, and okay. it will come up with a little tick once the ND has been dropped in. Okay, that's fantastic. And I'm gonna go back to where we were, because otherwise we'll mess with your lovely exposure. So back to home. So that's really, really, well, eye-opening, actually, that I can have that level of control remotely. Yeah, and what's really good as well, actually, uh, if we go back into that camera yep. menu, you can see in the bottom left that we've got sort of user, play, and SDI. Yep. So, for example, if we went into the user yep. setting, same with the camera. In prep, you could set up all your user buttons, both on the camera and on the handset. So, as Jim mentioned at the very beginning, if the camera is on a crane or a jib and you wanted to quickly check your waveforms, you could have one of those user buttons set up for waveforms. Yeah. You could have one set up for zoom just to double check focus, so like uh, focus magnification whatever you want. And I like the fact you can do user one, two, and three. So actually you've got up to, up to six. Up to six. Up to six. So you have someone particularly irritating on set, you can put them on one button, and then you can have yours where you want your controls. Yeah. Yes, fantastic. <laughs> I like that very, very much. Um, that's fantastic. I mean, that, that's brilliant. I'm gonna take you straight back again. Um, and then SDI is your output. Yes. Yep, so you go into there. That's fantastic. And again, that gives you status, 
surrounds and exposure tools that you can then put down the FPI or not. Yes, completely. So if you did have multiple monitors, if, if checks may have wanted to have a look at something slightly different on their feed, you can adjust that from the handset instead of having to run to and from Video Village on the camera. And all of this could be done, Tom, while enjoying um, some pastries and coffee in a warm place. You don't want to say that too much. People, people might get too comfortable. True, they might get the wrong idea <laughs> and think that we're not working for a living. Thank you, Tom. No worries, no worries. Uh, I personally think this is an absolute magical box of tricks. It's, from a practical standpoint, absolutely it does what it says on the tin, but it's also a creative tool. And it allows you, in these COVID times, would you agree? Yeah, completely. Like, as we've already mentioned, if you yeah. want to drop an ND in. You can do it remotely. You don't need to go to camera, which is incredibly useful. I think it's an essential part of this camera package. I hope you agree.